Okie dokie then, so the first thing I'm going to do is just delete this document that we created in the last video, this test document, because I don't want to keep spamming my database with test documents, so all we have is a load of test projects. So I'm going to try and keep this clean as we go forward. So just select the document and delete up here, start delete, and that's going to delete it for us. So we just have those three left that we initially created. Alright then, so in this video I want to talk a little bit about button loaders and um, we're going to place this on this button down here. So remember, when we add this project, that is calling this method over here, right, to add that new project. And like we said, this was asynchronous. It takes some time to complete this and then we log this to the console. Now, what I'd like to do in that space between us adding the project and it going off and completing that task, I want this to turn into a little loader, and by that I mean something like this. I'm on the Beautify docs over here on the button page. Just scroll down until you see loaders right here. And if we just zoom in and press this button, you see this little thing, like it's loading. That's what I want to do until the action has completed, until we've added it to the database and received some kind of response. All right, so we're going to do that on this button right here. Very simple to do. So the way we do this is by just adding a prop to our button called loading. So this is the button right here. Now we're going to data bind to this. So we'll say loading and this is going to expect a Boolean either true or false. Now, if I just put true in here and save this, let's just go and see what this looks like. You see this? Now we have that loading spinner right here. Now, obviously, we don't always want it to be true. We only want it to be true during the time that it's going off and doing this action, adding it to the database. And that time begins when we first click the button, right? When we first start to submit it. So let us control this, not by hard coding it, but by some kind of data right here. So I'm going to call this mm, loading, makes sense. And initially, it's going to be false. When we first load the page or open the pop-up, we don't want it to be true in spinning. We want it to be false to begin with, right? So we set this now equal to that property called loading, which we just created. Save it. And initially now, it should be false. And we don't see the loader. Now, when we try to submit a project, after validation, after we say, okay, well, this is valid, inside this if statement, that is where that we want to start this loading icon. So what we could do is just say, well, at this point, this dot loading, which is this property we just created, we want to set that equal to true. All right. So it's going to start up the loader, but that's not it. We also want to set it to false once it's complete, because once the task is complete, we don't want it to keep on spinning around because that would imply that it's still trying to complete the action. That's not the case. Now, we know it's complete when we get a response because this returns a promise and this then method only fires when it's complete and we get a response. So what I'm going to do inside this callback function inside the then method, I'm going to set that back to false. Now, we don't need this anymore. So let's delete that and just say this dot loading is now equal to false. All right, then. so let's save this and give this a whirl. So if we add a new project now. I'm going to just do test and then hello again and then a due date 23rd add project and now we see that spinner did you see it you might not have caught that so let me just do test two it was really quick to complete the action but if we click add project watch very carefully there we go we saw it momentarily okay it's happening really fast for me at the minute but sometimes it might take a little bit longer maybe half a second a second or even more and that's when you'll see the spinner but you get the point here we're adding that little loading icon while it's being completed and if we go to the database we should see those other two documents over here if we click through i'm just going to delete them again because i don't want to keep on spamming this database like i said so keep on deleting these like so and then go back to the screen. OK, so that's the first step. Now what I'd like to do is after we've added the project, automatically close this dialog because we don't need it to remain open. They've added the project and they don't need it anymore. So let's close it after we've added the project. Again, how are we going to do that? Well, these dialogs, they can be controlled via a V model. So this thing right here, I can attach a V model to and that is going to be some kind of data property down here. So let's create one called, I don't know, dialog. So let's say dialog over here. And that is false to begin with, right? Now, 
let's set this V model to dialogue. Now, this when this is true, it shows the dialogue. When it's false, it doesn't show the dialogue. When we click on this button right here, the activator, what it kind of does behind the scenes is override this and essentially set this to true and shows the dialogue. Now, if we want to manually override it and set this to false again, then it's gonna hide the dialogue. So what we want to do down here is when we've completed the task is set that to false so that it hides the dialogue again. So we can say this dot dialogue is equal to false. So let's give this a whirl. Hopefully this works. Add a new project and we're gonna go test a roo and blah, blah, blah. And then the date is gonna be 30th of November. Add the project. We should see the loader first very quickly and then it closes. Awesome. So there we go, my friends. That is how we can use loaders on buttons and also how we can override dialog boxes to hide them when a certain action is complete.